Hi guys, this is Richie from thelifestore.com and this is my vlog. I became a meditation teacher over the weekend and that made me think of um, the topic that I'm going to talk about today. So today I thought it'd be appropriate to talk about teachers and gurus. Um, in my opinion, if you have something to teach, if you have something to share, if you have an experience to, worthy to, of talking about, or if you have something that others want, you shouldn't hold back from sharing it. The idea of becoming a teacher or an expert in a topic or showing others how to do something the way you do it may seem a little bit arrogant and may seem like, oh, I don't want to toot my own horn, but here are some reasons why you really should do it. Why should you follow the calling of teaching or establishing yourself as an expert in something? It's because when you start on that journey, the things that the universe throws at you are actually things that you need to look at in order to grow as a person and spiritually. Uh, these are very deep-rooted things and issues that come up as you face the challenges of establishing yourself as a teacher or an expert. For example, let's say you're a jewelry designer and you've designed a beautiful collection and people start to like it and you're starting to get some recognition and maybe some orders and suddenly you sabotage yourself, suddenly you do something that throws it all off. This may be a very deep-rooted issue that you have or belief that you have that you don't deserve to be successful doing what you love. Maybe it's, an, it's a belief that you have that you shouldn't uh, make money from your passion. Your money should come from a boring job. Another difficult thing that may happen if you are a teacher is that your students will protect their project, sorry, the stuff they don't want to see on in themselves onto you. So as a teacher, you become a mirror of the stuff that, of your student, and they will see what they don't want to see in themselves in you because you're trying to teach them. Um, for example, let's say you're teaching something, you've created a program or whatever, and you're starting to gain momentum, you have many, uh, you start, you have a following, um, you have, you're starting to become influential, and suddenly one of your students turns on you and goes to your face or behind your back and says, oh, she just, she's doing this not because she's into it, not because she believes it, she just wants to be popular and famous. This could be a deep-rooted issue in that particular person that they secretly want to be popular and famous. And it's subconscious, so they don't know, but they're projecting it on you. But that's a risk that, as a, as a teacher, you kind of have to take because you are trying to do that difficult thing of changing that person in their course towards improvement. So I mentioned two difficult things that happen when you try to establish yourself as a teacher or an expert. Um, one is you have to face shit in yourself that you don't want to see. Secondly, not only that, you also have to face shit in your students that they don't want to see in themselves. Um, I'm not trying to paint a bad picture here, it's just a fact. but. The thing is that even though there are these challenges and these difficulties, it is still so, so worth it to hear that calling and still become a teacher or an expert or show people something that you want to show them because these specific challenges are going to give you opportunities to grow in a way that nothing else can do, at a speed that nothing else can do. So if you hear that calling, go for it. Forget about the challenges. When you look back on it, you'll be happy you did it. That's it for today. Um, please go check out my website, thelifestore.com, and subscribe to my newsletter. Thanks so much, guys. See you next time. Bye.